About a year ago, these guys at Isotip sent me this little kind of a portable soldering iron thing. Uh, kind of cool, bit of a throwback. You know, I think it's got a NICAD battery in it. Uh, it's charging all the time, which is kind of a negative because it does use power all the time, but it is, doesn't use a lot. Uh, but I like this thing. It, it heated up fast. You push the little button and the light comes on and so on. That's a, it's cute and it used, I used it quite a bit uh, and still do. Well, they sent me a new toy. They didn't send me the screwdriver. I put it in there so the lid would stay up. This is actually butane. And I thought it was kind of cool and I thought, well, well, I'll go ahead and give it a test. This is the soldering device right there. Uh, it's got a little doohickey in here. I'll take this apart. You're, you're supposed to be pretty careful with that. It's a catalyst thing or something. Anyway, butane comes out of there, warms it up, and uh, then there's the tip. Well, it's a bunch of different tips. You can hold the stupid thing open. There's that doohickey. That's okay. Uh, this one's for, quote, heavy soldering. I suppose that would work. This one's actually a tip, and I'll, I'll see if I can show you how it works when I'm fooling with this. It's actually a little torch. It makes it into a torch so that you can heat stuff. Right now, all I'm going to do, compare this to this one and a couple other soldering irons and guns and stuff I have around to see how well this thing performs. Because to me, and I'm not the best electronic guy in the world, I piddle around, you know, so on. But I really like the things to heat up fast. It seems it's just slower in a seven-year itch. And so that's a pain. So let's see if this thing's faster than this. And don't laugh. These things. Yeah, I had this when I was probably 12. This one, probably 18. Still rolling around. Uh, obviously, this one is only going to be used for some pretty heavy duty stuff. It's 320 watts. This one here is only 75. This is a genuine Radio Shack. Yeah. Um, I figured the, the coolest way to do this. The easiest way would be simply to time these things in how long it takes to melt some solder. Now, I could put a temperature thing on it and all this stuff, but really, uh, melting the solder is probably the most important thing anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. So let the test begin. Okay, see I've got a stopwatch there. I've got a little piece of solder here. Fancy isotippy thing. I'm going to start the stopwatch because I don't have 47 hands. I'm going to start it and then I'm going to take this out and we'll put the solder on the tip and we will see how long it takes to warm that up enough to melt the solder. Pretty simple. Okay, here we go. I will make adjustments on this thing after it's done because I don't have those three, four, five, or six hands. Okay. This is on. Okay. Here we go with our uh, little Radio Shack 75 water. Pretty fast, pretty fast. And here we're going to use the antique monster gun.
Okay, there we go. Uh, probably really not fair to use this one. I just did it just because. Uh, because it's a lot larger uh, heat sink. It's got to warm up, although it's a lot more uh, wattage too. Uh, and it isn't really comparable to these others. These are small soldering uh, irons that are used for fairly small stuff. Anyway, I did that one just for the heck of it. Now I do have one of these, but that's really not a good test for this. These things take forever to heat up anyway. Uh, so I'm not going to even try this one. But now we're going to try this new toy. Okay, with the new toy here, uh, I'm going to turn this all the way up. This thing goes up to what the equivalent of 80 uh, watts. Push a little doohickey forward. And you can see, oh, the cutesy pew little light come on. Okay, you know how it works. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and cool it down, and we'll try this thing. Okay, let's see about this boy. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's got the little torchy thing in it. Okay, you're not going to be able to see the flame in this thing. I'll turn it all the way up again. On. Only way you're going to know it works is if the shrink tube shrinks. A little bit wimpy. Uh, I mean, it may have to be to make a soldering gun, but it doesn't do much. Uh, I can do better work on shrink tube, at least of that size, with a uh, standard old torch. But uh, the torch, not real impressive, but it does work. And if you're doing small shrink tube, it would probably work fine. That's the, uh, the Isotip Sutter Pro 90. Is this thing any good? Well, I can't say for sure because I haven't used it much, but it's kind of impressive. I don't have to I don't have to have a cord with it. I don't have to have anything plugged in with it. I can just take it out and use it. And even though I was using it at the max, if you needed lower temp, you can adjust this little doohickey. It's it's not going to tell you what the temperature is or nothing like that, but cool toy. I will be using it a bit and if I have gripes about it I'll do another video and put my gripes forward but anyway uh, kind of a cool toy